President Trump is moving to make good on a major campaign promise. He tweeted tonight he is planning national security announcements tomorrow. And quote, among many other things, we will build the wall. And he's also close to a decision that could affect the country for decades, a nominee for Supreme Court justice. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. We will pick a truly great Supreme Court justice but I'll be announcing it sometime next week. By the time a nominee is approved, the Supreme Court vacancy will have lasted more than a year. Whispers in Washington have the president focusing on federal judges William Pryor, Neil Gorsuch, and Diane Sykes. I'm hopeful uh, that maybe President uh, Trump would nominate someone who is mainstream and could get bipartisan support. We shall see, but if they don't, yes, we'll fight it tooth and nail. Another move by the new president brought environmental justice protesters to Columbus Circle Tuesday night. Dakota Access Pipeline. Mr. Trump signed executive orders to advance approval of two controversial oil pipelines, including the Keystone XL pipeline President Obama rejected in 2015. If they'd like, we'll see if we can get that pipeline built. A lot of jobs, 28,000 jobs. Later in the day, Press Secretary Sean Spicer was peppered with questions over the president's claim that up to 5 million people voted illegally, throwing the popular vote to Hillary Clinton. And he continues to maintain that belief based on studies and evidence that people have presented to him. Even the Trump-friendly New York Post says the voting fraud claim is bogus. And Republicans signaled they want the president to move on. Does it trouble you that he continues to hold a belief like this that isn't based in fact? Look, um, I've already commented on that. Uh, I've seen no evidence to that effect, and I've made that very, very clear. Tomorrow, President Trump visits the Department of Homeland Security. He's expected to sign that executive action to spur construction of a wall on the Mexican border. And he may propose steps to withhold certain funds from so-called sanctuary cities for immigration, cities that include New York. Also today, CBS News confirmed President Trump has asked James Comey to stay on as FBI director. All right. Thank you, Tony.